Good morning. So I want to talk. Chop and drop. Come with me. I'm going to take, I was just over here processing flowers that were getting ready to go uh, in vases or for customers. But instead of throwing all this in the garbage, I'm going to do chop and drop. Um, it's a little different than traditional chop and drop. So chop and drop is basically a form of gardening where you, usually it's done with cover crops, but there's lots of different ways. So with the chop and drop, you grow something, you cut it down, and you leave it right where it's laid. And that puts that nutrients right back into the soil, um, or it becomes soil. I've got to reorganize here. There we go. Okay. Uh, it becomes soil over time, keeps that nutrients up, and then going down. So it's kind of cool. But I use the chop and drop with uh, all of my flower choppings and droppings. So this is leaves I cleared off the bottom, um, any, you know, blooms that were spent or anything like that. That just didn't, it didn't make the cut for a vase. It's going to go and chop a drop. So I'm going to go right over here and right at the base of, see all my little cosmos here. I'm just going to take this little bucket and I'm going to give it a sprinkle right all in there like that. And over here. It's kind of crammed in there. So I crammed all these in here and I cut them up. And it's kind of like a garden confetti. And I encourage people at the flower farm often to just strip the things and leave them right at the ground or toss them back into the thing. Um, you'd think it would make it really messy, but it really doesn't. Um, because they dry up and, you know, they go right back to the earth. So I'm going to go over here and do these. There's some gorgeous queen line zinnias. Look at these queen limes. That's oh, so pretty there. And we're just going to do the same little confetti method here. I'm just going to drop them all along here like that for as much as I can. So you can see what they look like. And it's kind of just, it's actually kind of pretty. But they dry up real fast. And then they just go right back into creating organic matter for better happy flowers. So there's my little quick summation of a chop and drop. Thanks for joining us and watch us grow.